السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از ویڈیو نمبر فور اوکے اباؤٹ ہیپ سکس پوائنٹ ٹو ہیٹ اینڈ کولنگ لوڈ کیلکولیشن سو آئی ریکویسٹ یو آل دیٹ اف یو ہیو ناٹ واچ مائی پریویس لیکچر دین گو اینڈ واچ بیکاز دس از دا کنٹینیوشن آف آور calculation okay so see in previous lecture we already completed about a space model okay see this is our project let me open a space model we completed this two tabs general and spaces right and also we discuss about all the things how to assign ventilation overhead lighting and uh, all these one columns okay one by one uh, with references and uh, standards okay so again i am requesting you go and watch my previous lecture okay now next is zoning see this is our models and now in this lecture i am going to explain about zoning assemblies and windows and doors i hope okay but let me explain about zoning okay see zoning is the group of spaces okay and also we can say that uh, about our selection of machine okay if it indicates zone 1 then it means i am going to install one machine for this zone okay this particular zone so in most of cases zone is equal to our machine okay right you can say but this is not uh, okay but you can say in generally zone is equal to machine okay so now see <coughs> first here create a zone okay so i am going to create here three zone okay office 1 and office 4 one zone office 2 and office 3 one zone <coughs> here zone 1 just click here and it will automatically come zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 okay and in this zone which spaces i'm going to assign here is on a on assign spaces right so zone 1 i'm going to assign office 1 just click and office 4 this is zone 1 see zone 1 this two spaces right similarly zone 2 i'm going to assign this and this see the zone color and our spaces color is same so it is very easy to recognize about zoning right and only on assign space is bathroom so if i will go further and generate our report then this error message will be shown in our report right so also i have to assign this bathroom in a particular zone okay we are not going to install ac machine in bathroom but even i have to assign as a zone so i am going to assign bathroom a separate zone right see here on condition space is given right on condition spaces so bathroom is on condition space right so i click on condition space and assign bathroom okay what about the spaces i am not going to uh, install our machine ac machine so that spaces i have to consider as a uncondition spaces okay so i created and assign all the spaces as a zone okay 
if you have multiple label you can select here also and and assign the zone one by one right now next is assemblage see assemblage in assemblage what is all our external wall roof ceiling all this one right i have to assign this u value right see create new assembly the this is exterior wall external wall right here i have to assign <coughs> the u value you know r value and uh, density thickness all this one i have to assign so let me explain how to um, calculate this u value right like a, you know r value is a thermal conductivity okay so this one i have to calculate if it is not given generally it is given by architecture or uh, uh, yes architecture team okay this is a u value but if you don't have then you must calculate okay so see the label gypsum board just i'm going to show you one thing i'm not going to calculate all the this one if the material this is the material of external wall right let me show you see if I select any template no issue here door if i select the wall okay the external wall or anyone uh, let me show you the external wall okay see and make the section now fine and wireframe and uh, discipline is mechanical so if i make the coordination okay yes so see if i make the okay see this is the external wall I, I selected if this type of external wall is a uh, is a install uh, is construct our building okay so this see how many layer it is one two three four five five layer is given like this right so each or uh, each layer is of different material right let me check see the material if i click here and edit edit see the this is external size and this is interior side okay the exterior side is first brick thickness is 90 mm right and after that see here here the brick first one is brick this is brick after that air this layer is air gap okay and after that air infiltration 
this is zero zero there is no layer after that plywood this yellow color is plywood okay after that metal stud 152 this one and then gypsum wall the inside is gypsum wall okay so combination of this all material we make one wall external wall right so if i have to calculate the u value of this material then i have to calculate each material r value thermal conductivity okay in in revit in revit if i have to calculate it is already given here okay the r value is uh, 9.4 if uh, this is different material so if so just click here and see and we can create the material here okay whatever i am uh, i'm going to construct here and thereupon i have to assign this thermal see thermal conductivity here i have to assign this thermal conductivity okay then u value will come exact as per the standard so from where i have to calculate this thermal conductivity thermal conductivity let me show you so see the brick material is brick and thickness is 90 it this all detail is provided by the our civil team our architecture team okay i'm going to show you see um, book fire book hpc u value this is u value right see let me calculate okay this is brick brick okay thickness in meter so what is the thickness here 90 mm right so is equal to 90 thousand right this much next is air air uh, i'm just going to calculate only the material right one by one you can calculate i will give you all this one details gypsum wall right just for tutorial i am showing you how to calculate if it is not given right what is gypsum 13 mm 13 mm right what about this thermal conductivity brick thermal conductivity see this is the standard this is for shading coefficient for window okay this is the material thermal conductivity see see thermal conductivity of some construction material right the brick this is soil building a stone clay let me check gypsum gypsum plaster right 0 0.4 more gypsum board see gypsum board is 0 0.17 here 0 0.1 0 0.17 right thermal conductivity of gypsum wall board what about the brick you have seen if you have seen then let me know brick this is also glass window for glass shading coefficient right this is poly polystyrene aluminium roll window glass 
wood board cement plaster 1.2 this is motor tiles soft salt limestone sand brick building brick see which type of brick cement brick or any type of brick you can select so if i consider cement brick then 1.2 here 1.2 so it will collect um, calculate here automatically because the resistance yeah, it means thermal conductivity is thickness of material by thermal conductivity okay is equal to r value see this is r value this is suppose this is uh, R1 okay and uh, R2 all this one okay so total R here total R is equal to uh, we can say alt is equal to okay this is R value it means to um, thermal conductivity this is the thermal conductivity here resistance okay total a 9.4 okay similarly this is the one okay so this value i have to put in our calculation okay here here one by one i have to put okay same like this one same 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 okay and then here it will come the r value and opposite of r value it means u is equal to 1 by r if i will do then u value will come here exactly okay so this is the way to calculate about the r value and this is the thermal conductivity of some construction material okay as per the standard okay british standard see british standard this one this table so this table is very very important when you don't have the data about the u value and you have to calculate right so just i am going to wall assembly i am going to uh, assign the default value if you have the value then you can put here okay and okay same interior same default wall no because already default wall is created if i will say it will show the error okay so interior wall no need to change anything and uh, roof default roof i am going to sign i already show you that if you have the details how to assign right so you can assign and the slave okay similarly windows and the doors you can if you have the u value you can put here directly okay and the shading the sun heat like uh, shading coefficient i already show you so you can okay assign default door you if you have the data you can put otherwise go with default okay and okay so i already completed the spaces model okay and i show you about uh, calculation of uh, u value and i show you that about the standards so next is the system okay here the system uh, inshallah in next video i will show you that how to calculate okay so if you have learned something from this video and if you have doubt then comment below and uh, i will reply the next part is systems uh, tab and about the plants okay so keep watching and subscribe assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi barakatuh